Another beautiful morning here in Thailand. The sun is starting to rise and I'm still here in the same seat where I left you on the last vlog. These uh, pesky little bugs kept blowing in on my face. Here you see some all over my shirt. Die bugs, die! I was lucky to get maybe half an hour of sleep last night. Anyway, we are still riding the rails on this approximately 14 hour journey up to Northern Thailand. The sun has started to rise and the train has come to life. The scenery is slowly evolving from the flat grounds down near Bangkok up to hilly mountainous country. Along the way, you see lots of crops, little farms. So let's take a moment and talk about restrooms. Remember how I said it was nice to see a Western-style toilet in the last episode? Well, here is uh, what you get on the train. A metal hole in the ground. I guess you put your feet on those little pedestals, but it's slippery and wet with urine. The overwhelming smell of decaying organic matter is enough to knock you out. And this one had an actual sink. Um, of course, there wasn't any running water in it, and there's no place to dry your hands. So when you do come across a Western-style restroom, you start to uh, realize what I mean. As we head further up into the hills, the scenery changes dramatically. Gone is a lot of the flat land and farms. You see a lot more vegetation. Tunnel ahead. I love tunnels. Things start to get really beautiful up here in the mountains. Not that it makes this train ride worth going on, um, but it is, a, it is a small reward for putting up with the hours upon hours of agony. At this point, I'll take anything I can get. Here we start to see some misty mountaintops. And rivers. And the tracks of the train start to get more windy. There's a lot more bends, a lot more interesting scenery to look at. And you'll just be riding along in the train. Things are pretty mellow inside. And then BAM! You see a scene like this. Breathtaking. Absolutely beautiful. The sun's getting pretty bright now and a lot of the mist has burned off as we make our way further up into the mountains. And check this out. I discovered that there's a dining car in the back of this train. How awesome is this? When you wake up, or if you haven't slept like me, you get to have breakfast. This is my breakfast. It was very tasty. One of the reasons the train ride takes so long is that you stop at every single station. every single station and you wait i'm not sure what you wait for but you sit around and wait and just add time onto your journey
after all this time, I finally discovered that there's a switch on the wall. You can turn these fans on and off. Not that you really want them off because it is really ridiculously hot, but during the peak of the night, it does get annoying, all the wind blowing on you. What is this? I can't believe my eyes. We've finally made it to our destination, the Chiang Mai Terminal. <laughs> I'm almost in disbelief. Ah, what a relief. I never want to do something like this again. This was not enjoyable. Goodbye train. I hope I never see you ever again in my entire life. What a sight for sore eyes. The Chiang Mai Railroad Station. Okay, we've met up with our Uber driver who is taking us on our way to where we'll be spending the night. The Sali Kam is the name of this little resort. It's far off the beaten path, but after a lot of the places we've stayed so far, the idea felt refreshing to be away from the hustle and bustle of the city center. However, we discovered upon reaching the gate that uh, it was locked and there's nobody inside. This is not what you want to have happen after being awake for almost 14 hours on a dirty, noisy train and having very little food in your belly. Fortunately, we were able to get the Hotels.com reservation desk on the phone and get the situation resolved within a few hours. All right. Finally got in. There was a little misunderstanding about the booking, but you know, this place so far is worth the effort. Beautiful. Very traditional buildings. Nice outdoor breakfast bar with coffee and a microwave and television and a nice seating area to relax in. This is the view from the balcony of our room. I gotta tell you, this is such a relief after being on that train. It was time to venture out and grab a bite to eat. Just down the street, we found this cool little convenience store, market, cereal. with tons of Thai foods and snacks. The owners were really nice. And a little further down the road, we stumbled upon a genuine neighborhood farmer's market. Zero tourists here. In fact, the locals were so shocked to see white people that they offered to give us a tour. Oh, good. 
This market was awesome. It had a great variety of fresh food and vegetables and fruits. And the prices were rock bottom. No tourist tax here. So we gathered up some food to eat for dinner later and headed back to our room where we promptly crashed for the evening. Can you blame us? Wow, that was the world's longest train ride from hell. And this is where we end today's vlog. Thanks for watching. I love hearing your feedback. Go ahead and leave a comment below and please subscribe. You might be the one who helps me reach 1,000 subscribers. Thank you.